Carol Kirkwood, 59, has been working with the BBC since she graduated from university and is now the main BBC breakfast weather presenter. The BBC star has sent a warning to a colleague who asked her about the weather for the ashes in Sydney. BBC Sport presenter John Watson tweeted this morning, Morning all. Keeping an eye on what's been a rain interrupted first day in the fourth ashes test in Sydney. What are the chances of it staying dry at Carol Kirkwood? At Breakfast at Ashes 2021. Carol replied in view of her 215,100 followers, not out of the woods in terms of thunderstorms in the next few days John. Still the chance they could see some. Heavy rain is forecast for all five days in the fourth test, with an 80% chance of rain and thunderstorms each day in Sydney. The fourth test is scheduled to take place from today and Sunday 9th of January, but the weather forecast does not make this promising. Australia won the third test by an innings and 14 runs, leading to the team to be eyeing a series whitewash. Carol recently revealed her New Year's fitness regime, as she joined the Her Spirit movement, a community for women to come together to find a fitter, healthier and happier self. Ahead of the challenge, which began Sunday, Carol took to Twitter to reveal her goals for 2022 alongside a video of her and three of her teammates, including her BBC colleague Dr. Nyat RF, encouraging others to join in. I must confess my fitness regime has gone right out the window lately, she admitted. Looking forward to doing this for the next six weeks. In a separate tweet, she shared another snap of the team in the gym alongside Olympian Greg White, who appeared to be putting them through their paces. Dot what are we doing? She exclaimed. At DR Nyatarif and I were shown the ropes by the lovely Greg White. We are going to crack this with the help of these lovely ladies. Tonight at her Spiri took at 6pm. Fans rushed to the comments section to applaud her dedication and goals for the new year, with some revealing shed encourage them to get back to their fitness regimes, too. Recently, Carol paid a moving tribute to her BBC co-star Janice Long, who was best known as a presenter on BBC Radio 1, Radio 2 and Top of the Pops. Her agent, Nigel Forsyth, confirmed the sad news that she died after a short illness at home on Christmas Day with her family, aged 66. On 29th of December, the day the news was announced, presenter Dan Walker began, Carol is here this morning and we're not only reflecting, Carol on the death of Archbishop Desmond Tutu but also someone I know you knew well, Janice Long. When I used to travel back from football matches, I used to love listening to her late at night on Radio 2, 